everybody. This is Gus G from Ozzy Osbourne Band and Firewind, and you're on BackstageAccess.com. This is Chris with BackstageAccess.com. We have guitar virtuoso Gus G. from the Ozzy Osbourne Band and Firewind with us today. He's here to talk about his terrific solo album out that's out right now, I Am The Fire. Well, hello and welcome to BackstageAccess.com. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. Gus, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you very much. Great. Um, well, let's talk about your latest album, I Am The Fire, and that's your first solo release. How did this project mm-hmm. finally come about? Uh, it was um, it was really, a, a, how should I say, I guess uh, the timing was right because uh, Firewind was going to go on a break. Our singer had quit a play about two years ago, and then we still had some shows in front of the so we did those shows, but then we said we're going to take a break for a while. And um, Ozzy uh, did the Black Sabbath reunion, and he was very busy with that for two years. So, uh, you know, just at the same time, I just happened to have all these riffs and ideas for songs that didn't really fit the, you know, for a filing record. It was more closer to, I don't know, the hard rock side of things. So I just decided it would be a good opportunity for me to um, do a solo album. Okay. Now, how different was the experience for you as a solo artist versus, you know, being in a band situation? I mean, it's, it's, it's a great feeling. You know, it, was a, it was a good feeling because um, when I was in the studio, you know, recording that, it was like I would finish all my parts and stuff, and then it was kind of strange because usually I would have to turn to a band member and then send the stuff to them and be like, oh, so what did you think? And get everybody's opinion. And then but this time around, there was nobody there. It was just me. So I was like, well, well. <laughs> I can just do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> so in, in that sense, it was uh, kind of liberating, you know. Um, well, the only difference there is, there is if, if something sucked really bad, nobody would have, you know, ever tell me. But, uh, <laughs> but it was fun, you know. I, got, I also got to collaborate with a lot of musicians, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of different singers, bass players, drummers, and, um, and some of the people I really admire, some of the some legendary musicians out there that I, I grew up listening to, you know, and, and I'm grateful for that. Right now, you have a, you know a lot of different artists on the record. Was it difficult working with so many different people? Oh, you know, it was very easy. Everybody was very uh, very happy to be a part of it, and everything was done very quickly and very um, very like it, it was just it was it was just like painless. You know, we just sent the files, and then people would just send files back, and then everybody was happy. You know, it was just great, and. Um, I mean, especially with the singers, all the different singers, I would co-write the songs with these demos, and then they would all record their stuff in studios wherever they live, and they would send the files back, and uh, I just imported the files. I, I mean, obviously, I was responsible for doing the drums and the guitars and all that stuff, but uh, with the guests, it was just... Uh, it was just very easy. Okay. Now, you have quite a few tracks on there um, with Candlemass singer Matt Slavin. Now, when did the two of you first begin working together? I say, I've known Matt for more than 10 years, you know, when I lived in Sweden, I used to play in a band called Dream Eagle and Yiddish, another band that he was in at the time. And we've always kind of bumped into each other at festivals or in a recording studio and all that. Um, and um, in 2011, I gave him a call to uh, help me out on the tour with Firebird because our singer had quit once again. So um, I needed somebody to do the tour and uh, he helped us out. And... Uh, yeah, it was just such a good, uh, such a good vibe playing with him you know, that we, uh, me and him, started discussing after that tour about doing some songs together, and um, we didn't know if it was going to be for fire. We know if it could be a new project. So uh, when I started thinking about the solo record, I just sent him a bunch of song ideas, and that's how we did it. Okay. Now you just wrapped up a, a tour over in Greece and Bulgaria, and I think you're headed to the United States next week for just a few shows. Um, and Matt's handled the vocals on the, the European leg. Who's going to be handling the vocals uh, on the U.S. dates? Uh, Jess Cobb's going to be singing on the four, on the on the U.S. shows. Um, uh, yeah, Jeff, Jeff and I we also wrote a song together for my for my record. It's called Summer Days, and. Um, you know, he's, he's from L.A., and he's a legendary singer. You know, I, I, 
my mom is more since I was a little kid, you know, listening to him on, on the early NBA records and stuff. So, um, we become good buddies, and, and, you know, I just called him up with this, you know, it made sense, you know, uh, my, my band's from L.A. I have a European band and, and an American band, okay. which makes things very easy, you know, I can just fly over here and rehearse with my guys here, and we can just go out there and do shows. Okay, now what can we expect from the, the shows here in the States? Um, obviously, you know, the material from your solo album, will you be doing any Firewind or any Ozzy songs in there as well? Yeah, that's the cool thing with this with a solo band, you know, it's uh, it can be a mixed bag, you know, it's not doesn't always have to be the song. Obviously we're gonna play stuff from Mind and the Fire, but we're gonna be doing stuff stuff from Firewind from my background with Firewind and all stuff from all these stuff, maybe a Sabbath cover here and there and uh yeah, who knows? Since uh, Jeff now is a special guest, maybe we'll throw in a little few surprises as well. Okay. Now, um, can you give us an update on Firewind? And is there anything going on with that? New singer, new music, anything down the road with that? Well, no, there hasn't been much happening with that. I mean, uh, I mean, I, I have ideas and risks that I keep on the side for the next record, but uh, I'm just not really in a rush with it right now. Okay. Um, I, you know, seven albums in ten years, it's just... It, it's, it's, yeah, I think we can afford to kind of like take it easy for the next one. <laughs> <not move. laughs> Absolutely. Now, with the solo album, you have an expanded edition that's going to be coming out in a few weeks. Um, what are the extras that are going to be included with that? Well, for, uh, let me start by saying it's going to be like, like the physical product. It's going to be a very limited edition, only 2,000 copies worldwide. Okay. And you're going to have a, it's going to be a CD plus DVD. Now, the CD is going to have four bonus audio tracks, uh, and the DVD is going to have like a 62-minute DVD, and it contains all the uh, videos that we did, um, some guitar tutorials, lessons by me on, on how to play a lot of the guitar parts, which is, I guess, cool for the guitar freaks. And then there's some like live footage from, uh, from a previous tour that I did in Greece with Matt. So uh, and there's interviews, EPK, so there's a lot of cool stuff, extended artwork and all that. Okay, cool. Now, um, as a guitar player, obviously now people are looking to you as an influence, but who were some of your biggest influences? Oh, too many. I mean, uh, you know, I started I started playing guitar because of Peter Frampton. Okay. But yeah, but later on, you know, I, of course, you know, uh, all my other guitar heroes were Ingve Malmsteen and um, and you know, like all all the guys from the '80s, you know, and Joe Satriani and and uh, Paul Gilbert and mm -hmm. and Michael Schenker and Uli John Roth and Gary Moore and guys like that. Okay. Now I know on the um, on the record you have a couple instrumental tracks, uh, "Vengeance" and I think the other one is "Terrified." Yes. Yeah. Did you want to stay away from those kind of tracks for this record? They they're really they're awesome tracks, real blistering solos, and um, you know with the bass players you chose for them, they, you just seem to mesh really well with them. What what was the story behind those tracks being on? Well, um, um, thank you, but um, the thing is, yeah, actually, uh, I have to say thanks to Jay Russell who mixed my record for pushing me to include those on the record. Uh, originally, I wasn't even going to include them because I, like you said, I just wanted to stay away from that uh, guitar instrumental thing, you know, I didn't want to do a record with full instrumental, but uh, I thought the tracks were pretty killer anyway, then Jay said to me, Fuck it, man. He said, it's a solo record. You should do whatever the hell you want. And I said, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it just happened, you know. Uh, Jay had these great ideas to get uh, to act to Rishi and uh, their bass on one, and then Dave Allison and Megadeth on the next track, and they were, they were both up for it. And, uh, and uh, I asked my, my friend from uh, Arch Enemy, uh, Daniel Erland, to, to drum on those tracks. So uh, that's how the whole thing came together. Cool. Now, when the um, solo tour in the States is over with, I think next month, you're going to be heading out with Metal All-Stars? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, how, yeah. How we're going to South America. That? Um, the promoter, his name is Gabe Reed, and he's putting this thing together. That's his vision, you know, to get all these guys from different metal bands and, you know, kind of unite all these players and... and and put a big rock show and then play all these classics, you know, and, uh, and he's, uh, he just, uh, it's funny, I met him at the NAMM show last year, you know, it's like, I don't know if you ever do the NAMM show, but it's like chaos at the hotel lobby, you know, there's like thousands <laughs> of people. It's like everybody's drunk and everybody's just 
partying hard. And then there I am, totally jet lagged, trying to get to the elevator. And there's like 50 people waiting in line to get to the elevator. And then a guy approaches me. He's like, hey, man, I'm Gabe Reed. And uh, I give him my all star. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, man, hey, what's up? He's like, I'd love you to be a part of on the next one. I'm like, sure. It's kind of late now, but I said, uh, if, you, if you really mean it, you know, get in touch with my people and I'll do it. And she actually did. And yeah, that's how it happened. Cool. Now, what was your experience like working with Ozzy? And is there any word on new music coming from that front? Well, I mean, the experience with Ozzy, it's, it's, uh, it's, a, such mind blowing experience. It's just hard to put into words how awesome it is. You know, everything is. It's like we only we only have to worry to show up in time and play your, the best you can. You know, and um, it's just mind blowing to be a part of such a big machine and see how it works, how how it travels, how it gets set up, how everything is done. You know, and um, just playing all these big shows next to that dude. You know, who, who is one of the guys who are responsible for the music we play today. Um, I mean, I've had the time of my life since I've joined the band. Um, regarding news, I, I, I don't know much, you know, I heard that they're, they just announced some Black Sabbath, a new Black Sabbath record and, and tour next year, so, um, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with Ozzy. I know he's, I know he's putting out, uh, uh, a Best of DVD and CD now, uh, this month. It's called Memoirs of the Madman. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna do any shows to support that, I guess, so uh, we have to wait and see, you know? Okay. Now, um, I know that you're busy. I mean, you've got the new solo record out in the tour and then the Metal All-Stars, but what's next for Gus G? Another solo record, or what do you see coming down the road? Yeah, you know, I've been very happy with the way things are going with this new solo project. So I've already been writing some songs for the next one, so um, I, I would like to put out the next album uh, fairly quickly, so hopefully next year. Great. I'm going to put out a new album, yeah. Okay, that sounds awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with us today and fill us in on everything that you've got going on. Um, best of luck thank with you. the tour and, and with the Metal All-Stars. Thank you, Chris. Thanks a lot.